Libra, welcome to your weekly forecast, and this is for Feb 17th until 23rd. Alright, let's take a look what's going to be coming your way. You know, the um, the card of lying uh, frequently came out from most of the signs. It seems like this is a week of lying and uh, discovering of the lies. Not Libra. <coughs> Especially if we, if you're with the fire sign right now. <sighs> okay. You know, um, just want uh, just to clarify, okay? Um, because th th somebody actually made a comment. What is it with you, the fire signs? I have nothing against uh, fire signs, but I have to read whatever the cards will show. Okay, so if the if that shows water sign or a fire sign or air sign or earth sign or whatever it is, then I have to read it. Okay, if the card keeps on saying it's fire sign and it's fire sign, it's something that I can't, couldn't really control. Okay, so I have nothing against them. Anyway, <coughs> <coughs> you are just trying to find the strength. Okay, to um be a little bit stronger in this situation because it seems like you have some family situation right now and there are a lot of misunderstandings that's been going on your partner or your spouse you know couldn't really get you or understand you no matter how much you try to explain your side or no matter how much how much you try to explain yourself now you've been thinking about a lot of things Either you lie, or either you hide. But, either way, you're gonna get busted anyway. There are some things in your, you know, in yourself, or whatever that's been going on in your family that your spouse is so against with. And at this point, you don't know what to do. Okay? You are caught in between. You have to, and then you can't. Okay? Now... It seems like you will be making a decision by the end of the week to really extend what you can do. But then your partner will be controlling you much, okay? Your partner will be controlling you with most of the things that you're going to be doing. So you're going to get busted. Especially if you are not really working and you're only relying on your, your partner, then it's going to be a problem. But if you have your own money and if you have your own, you know, work, and you're not really relying on your partner, or if your partner is the one who's been relying on you, then it shouldn't be a problem. Even if they will try to wail out, and even if they will try to say that, why are you doing this? You're wasting your money on them. Um, sometimes you have to do what you gotta do. Okay, regardless of what other people will be reacting, saying, or, you know, however they're gonna be um, feeling about it. Okay, as long as you're not stepping into anybody else's toes, then go for it. As long as you're doing the right thing. Now, eventually you're going to be raising a, you know, small amount of money by the end of the week. But I feel like it's not going to be enough, you know, no matter how many, you know, no matter how much your uh, family needs from you. But it will still go on. Okay, and if this will spark... A big argument, or if your partner won't be able to understand you, then you are also ready to walk away. Even if it means isolation, or even if it means separation from you. Now, you will also be asking their opinions, or you'll be asking some of uh, your family members, especially somebody who's very close to you, you know, which is a fire sign woman. And um, I feel like you're also starting to, you know, to doubt. Where is this going to lead? And you've been putting up with this kind of toxicity or drama for, for, how, for how many years already? And for how long? It was really happy at the beginning until it becomes more of a domination, you know, um, possession, uh, proprietary. And uh, it's um, 
it, it's like you feel like you're just a property to him or to, to them, okay, to him or her. And you're not really able to breathe, you know, you're, you won't, you're not really able to, to move the way you really want it to be. And everything that you wanted to do, it's always under control. It's like you're back in that uh, boarding school, okay? Now, from what I can see, you know, from this person, it seems like they'd love to have the control in a situation because they feel safe. But they're not even aware that they're already suffocating this people, you know, the people around them and the people that they've been controlling. And they should learn how to let go and trust, okay? Um, you know, um, some of us actually grew in a very disciplined, uh, family when we were younger. And, um, this person is like that. It's like they are racing or they are, uh, you know, like, uh, treating their spouses, their children. It's like you're in the military camp. Um, it's not that you hate being, you know, disciplined, but it's too much and when your family needs your help or when your family needs something then they should be able to understand it instead of um you know instead of um blocking it and you hate the fact that you're also lying you know you know, you hate the fact that you've been keeping things from your spouse because you know some relationships and some couples <clears throat> they're very open to whatever they do and they support each other <clears throat> but with you it's like you're in a cage okay well money will not be tight but i feel like you will have enough to you know at least to uh, help out other people you know that's going to be needing them but i feel like at this point it's time for you to reflect what will be the next action you know in your life who knows next week it will you know it's going to change but then this week will be a little bit hectic and uh, very stressful. It's not because of your work. It's not because of your money. But it is because of the people that you expect to be there for you and to support you at least when you need them. All right. And <clears throat> well, on the other hand, there is actually a water sign who will try to make you happy and who will try to show their uh, support to you. But don't let this distract you. Okay. Um, don't add up another complication to your problem or to your life before it gets too late. All right. So anyway, that's it for you for this week, Libra. And if you want to talk to me live on the phone or live with the calls, just go and visit me at my website at sophieangel.net. Blessings to you.